Have you ever seen Transformers or any of the Purge series or Quiet Place 2? Listen, Michael Bay is considered one of the most successful Hollywood producers and directors of human history. This man is absolutely phenomenal, amazing, and sensational. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of being prepared for your next presentation. Now, in this particular video, Michael Bay is giving a presentation at a tech conference and it doesn't go like he had planned. There's some issues with the teleprompter and he didn't feel most supported on stage and so he actually ends up walking off stage. Now this happened years ago, but the reason why I'm bringing this up is I have nothing but 10 million percent enormous respect for Michael Bay and his incredible work. But I wanna use this as a quick demonstration of some things that we can be mindful of when we're giving public speaking appearances and presentations that will allow us to be more prepared so that when we experience tech glitches like this at a tech conference, right? That we could still crush it on stage. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, director and producer, Michael Bay. Woo! There's thousands of people in the room. So I'm gonna stop right here because here's where things start to go south. So we're 41 seconds in, right? He comes out, he's like, listen, I get a chance to dream for a living and create dreams and worlds beyond our imagination for a living. And he's the best on the planet at it, right? But if you'll notice his body language, you'll see his hands start to do this quite a bit, which means that there's some level of nervousness to what's happening, right? Now, when you first get on stage and you see all these cameras and all these eyeballs, one of the things that I wanna encourage you to do before before you get shocked by all the eyeballs and cameras when you first get on stage is I would encourage you to peer through a curtain while you're backstage and see the ocean of people that you're gonna present to before you get introduced. So the first time you see it, it's not the first time you're seeing it. Does that make sense? So vitally important. So if you check his body language, you'll notice that, that he was a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of cameras and, and lights and flickering and video filming and all that stuff. In addition to the applause when he first gets on stage, you can tell by his body language that he's looking down at a confidence monitor, but this confidence monitor clearly is not delivering to him his notes, okay? So the first big tip that we can take in addition to looking at our audience in advance while we're backstage to get a feel is let's make sure that we have our first couple of slides of content down, that you have it memorized so that if the production team needs a few minutes to get caught up to where you are or if there was a glitch between the last presenter and you coming on, that you have your first three to five minutes of content completely memorized so that if you have an issue with the confidence monitor, for those of y'all who don't know, confidence monitors are monitors that are set below they're downstage off of the main stage where you're at, looking back at you, feeding you either your PowerPoint presentation or notes of your talk, okay? There were glitches with this and I've seen this happen. I, I just went to a conference like last week and there was multiple times when the confidence monitor was not feeding back to the speaker what it is that they needed. So this is not a one-time occurrence. Unfortunately, this stuff happens all the time. So we as presenters and speakers have to be on point with our stuff enough to be able to adjust and pivot and not get lost when the production company can't get our notes or our content together. Let's watch and see what happens. And, um, what I try to do is I, as a director, I try to... Uh... Okay, so he's like, ah. Man, this, 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 this is tough because he's looking down, trying to connect with his audience. He's, as, as, a, as a director, what I try to do is, and he clearly had notes he wanted to share that were not populating, okay? I feel for him because I've, I've been in his shoes. One of the things we gotta remember is the audience knows only what we tell them. Write that down, y'all. The audience only knows what we tell them. So the audience won't know that you're nervous unless you tell them that you're nervous. The audience won't know that your confidence monitor is not working unless you tell them that the confidence monitor is not working. They can't see it, only you can see it. Does that make sense? So he begins to start to spiral a little bit on stage because he wants to be incredible on this presentation, of course, right? He wants to give his best. He does his best in everything. So I'm really feeling for him at this point. Let's watch it and see what he says. The type is all off, sorry, but I'll just leave this. Tell us what you think. 
He's like, the type is off. I'm just gonna have to wing it. I had something prepared and it's clearly not showing me so I can't give it to you guys. Remember, he's not a full-time professional speaker. He's a full-time producer and director. So this isn't stuff he does every single day. So he's, I give him massive credit for continuing to push through even though this is very awkward. And let me be very honest, y'all. I'm being very, I'm being very calculated with this review and this critique because this is one of the most uncomfortable positions you can ever be in, you know, as a speaker is to be on stage, you prepared something and then you're waiting for the technology to feed you the notes and it's not there. And this is why we have to be prepared with our content up here and on the hard drive of our heart. And we also need to write this down, y'all, have hip pocket content that we can pivot to just in case. So what I would have done here is I would have went straight into a story. A story is something that you can tell with no notes. Hey guys, I remember when I first created Transformer Part 1. How many of y'all have seen Transformer Part 1? All the hands go up, applause. While people are applauding and their hands are up, you've got time to think about some stuff, right? When we created Transformer Part 1, blah, 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 blah. And listen, when you watch Transformer Part 1 through 4 on this curved TV, here's how your viewing experience is gonna explode. Because that's why Samsung invited him to this conference to talk about how his movies will play 10 times better on this brand new curved monitor that they were debuting. So what he did, what he's doing here is he's kind of snowballing because again, his original plan was not working. And he's like, I'm Michael Bay, I've got a tremendous amount of respect and I'm not able to be in expert mode like I wanna be. And so internally he's shutting down, right? Whether you wanna call it a panic attack, anxiety, we've all been there. This is an extremely uncomfortable place to be in for any professional. I think he handled it incredibly well. And he's like, listen, instead of continuing on this course, I'm just gonna exit stage left. And that's exactly what he's gonna end up doing. But before he exits stage left, I wanna give you some things that you can consider doing if you're ever in this situation where it's really, really uncomfortable for you and your notes are not showing, your presentation is not showing, I want you to go into a story, a story that you already know, right? So in his case, he was invited to talk about his expertise in movies and films. He's forgotten more about movies and films than anybody in that room knows. So what I would encourage you to do is go straight into a story about how one of your movies or films, which one you love the best, why you loved it the best, what actors you enjoyed working with the best, what parts of the world you love filming in the best and why, and how this new technology of the curved wall will curved TV screens will help make the viewing experience that 10 times better for the audience. I think one of the things that we could learn from this is to not focus on ourselves and not even focus on our own presentation, but focus on the audience, why the people are there. And let's watch and see what happens here. So, so, so the MC tries to save him because the MC sees that he's very uncomfortable. So he says, hey, the curb, how does your movies play well on the curb? He's trying to save him in this very, very challenging situation. Uh, how do you think it's gonna impact uh, how viewers experience your movies? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's thank Michael May for joining us. So there's the old expression that says, never let the troops you sweat and I actually commend him because he's like listen I'm not gonna continue upon this course and this presentation get worse and worse and worse so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit stage left because here's the deal when you are giving a presentation of this magnitude you're in a partnership you as a presenter are in partnership with the production company, the AV team. I mean, you're working with a lot of people. It's not just any one person. And so if the other members of the team did not step up to the plate and deliver so that Michael could be at his best, Michael's like, listen, if you guys can't deliver and, 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 and set me up for success, then I'm not gonna deliver either. And he walked off. And that's nothing to be embarrassed about, even though T TMZ did their whole little thing about it. He said, listen, if I'm not gonna be put in an environment where I can be incredibly successful, I'd rather not perform. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's just like, you know, James Brown going out there to go do his show. And next thing you know, the, the stage is slippery or the, the, the sound isn't right or the speakers aren't working. We've all been to movie theaters before, right? Where the, the, the screen is playing the movie, but the speakers aren't working. You're like, somebody go tell them to reset the movie, right? <laughs> Y'all, it happens. Mistakes happen. The purpose of this video is to basically to say, listen, things like this are going to happen. It's how we respond to them that matters. So collect your thoughts 
right? Stay in expert position, shift over to stories about how your expertise can be displayed on this technology, right? And focus on the outcome for the audience, not so much focus on yourself, and you'll be able to push through that anxiety and deliver an incredible presentation that you will be proud of. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video. Listen, if you know that you need to deliver strong sales presentations in order to explode your revenue, you better go ahead and register right now for our brand new online course. It's called Crush Your Sales. It's powerful, persuasive presentation skills for sales professionals and entrepreneurs. Cannot wait to work with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Know that I'm somewhere around the world believing that this is your year to shift your speaking career into a higher gear. Talk soon.